Lions fans, what's going on on this beautiful, brisk morning here in the great state of Michigan? <laughs> I'm on break. Let's talk some Lions football, right? Um, you know, it's Victory Monday. Yeah, I got Pistons gear on. I got a game to go up to later. My business. <laughs> yesterday, we enjoyed it, man. Um, definitely a cardiac game yesterday, but we'll take that W. Uh, any shade of the way, it's the NFL. It's hard to come by uh, victories in the NFL. We know how hard that is, right? Eight and two, looking sweet, feeling good. Well, this video is not going to be a beat up video. It's just going. I'm just going to point out a few things that I'm concerned with with the team. If you guys want to see any more detail on on some of the things I feel about, you know, uh, the defense and where we are right now, you can go back and watch the previous videos. I'm not going to get all into that today. Again, um, we're going to keep it short and sweet, short and simple. Um, first and foremost, Jared Goff. Woo! <laughs> uh, tough game yesterday you know i don't blame jared goff for two of those picks let's just be honest about it uh one of them should have been uh, interference the other one should have been uh you know the illegal contact the other one should have been um you know he got he had the ball tipped uh, he he did the, the middle interception though he 100 percent through and i think that was mostly you know miscommunication um he, do, he does have new receivers out there, Donovan Peoples-Jones being one of them. Um, so, or the only uh, that's new out there, brand new. Um, but listen, man, that linebacker core over there ain't no joke. Their linebacker core is what I wish ours was built like. Uh, they can cover. They can cover. You've seen the game with Zam uh This is what, game number three? It's the third time where you've seen Sam Laporta not be able to really do anything out there. Uh, you know, we all love Sam Laporta. He makes big plays. He made a big play at the end of the game. But he just wasn't able to get loose today. I mean, yesterday, simply because of that linebacker coverage, man. <laughs> that D-line, uh, Montez Sweat has added confidence to that D-line. And, man, they were playing yesterday. They were playing yesterday. Um, and as I say, you know, all the time, when your D-line is like that, every else, everyone behind them, uh, it makes it that much easier for them. And they were able to bottle him up yesterday. So, uh, but Jared Goff, few picks, uh, uncharacteristic of him. But at the same time, a lot of that wasn't in his power. Those refs were doing a royal job of trying to screw us over yesterday. Um, like I said, I had some penalties with Brian Branch that I thought was kind of baloney. Uh, with the illegal contact, you know, they kept throwing it. And they, when it's not the fact that they was throwing the, fat, the flags, they were throwing the flags at such an inconvenient, it was it was the most inconvenient times for the Lions. <laughs> like, it was like big plays, you know what I'm saying, that they were snatching away with these stupid little flags, bro. And it was so annoying. I'm like, I know Roger Goodell definitely is in the bed. <laughs> Because, man, they was for the bull yesterday. Uh, but Brian Branch was brilliant yesterday. Brilliant yesterday, especially rushing the quarterback once they sent him, man. Uh, big plays from Brian Branch yesterday. Definitely was concerned with um, our coverage on the defensive side of the football. Like I said, we just weren't able to create that consistent pass rush that I've been screaming and begging for. And once again, it was coming back to bite us. You know, yeah, we did get the, the victory at the end of the game, uh, but you know, Aiden Hutchinson wasn't able to really get to Fields until the very last possession of the game. Uh, we had a couple of solid plays out there. Uh, Got to you know give credit to guys like Bohanna, Alem uh, McNeil. Yesterday, they were able to, to get home at least. But other than that, you know, coming off the edges, no help on the other side whatsoever. Uh, but we did get a little bit of push from guys like them and Pascal and, you know, some of them guys were, they were trying, I'm not even gonna lie. They were trying, but we still need that, that other guy. That's just like, man, this dude is a problem. It makes everything so much easier for us. So much easier for us. I, I gave credit to Aaron Glenn yesterday for the adjustments that he made after that first, uh, those first couple of, uh, you know, possessions, man. Um, you know, he's willing to give up the four yards and he just wasn't taking nothing else from, from Justin Fields. Even though he squiggled loose a little bit in the second half, 
made that big play out there dancing and doing all that like the game was over. <laughs> um, we did make the adjustments and we started to send everybody. We were sending. He was sending the heat, man. And you know they were trying to get there. So, you know, like I said, got to give credit for that, right? Um, but like I said, when you look at this roster, you playing teams of this caliber, you should be able to to handle these teams a little bit easier. And we struggled a little bit simply because of the playing style of this offense. Um, and we're going to continue to do that simply because of the personnel that we have. We've drafted some players that just not there. They aren't fast enough. You know, Sam Laporte, I love Sam Laporte. He's not the, he's not, he's a great route runner. Uh, when you look on the defensive side of the ball, has got like Jack Campbell, not fast enough to, to deal with, you know, certain situations out there. So, um, we need a little bit more speed and explosiveness on the defensive side of the ball, of course. And that helps everyone. That helps everyone. So it's okay to say that, right? Uh, not at all down in my team or anything. Like I said, it's too hard to get victories in this league. Those guys banded together. And for what we didn't have, uh, they came together and they, they gave each other enough support so we can be successful. And, you know, I'll take that. I'll take that. A team that's together like that is the most dangerous thing that you can have. A team that's fully bought into what the coach and coaching staff is giving, they are more dangerous than any other team, right? And then it's the playoffs. So, you know, let's get there first. Let's get to the playoffs. That's what this year is, right? We're going to stay the course. This year was to get to the playoffs and try to make some noise here, right? This is not to compete for a Super Bowl year. You know, we're not we're not equipped for that yet. And I think, you know, a lot of people will realize that once we do get into the playoffs that we still have to add a, a couple more things, right? Um, and that's fine. That's fine. But hey, hopefully you can go out here and get some 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 more luck. <laughs> because man, we've been in some fortunate situations this season. Uh, when you look around the league, some of the injuries that's going on, the things that's happening with teams, we've been very, very fortunate. Uh, but our window is not as big as a lot of people may try to make it seem. You know, you've seen this Bears team that we just faced yesterday. You know, eventually they're going to continue to get better. They're going to continue to add to that team. And before you know it, we're going to be right back into a dogfight for this NFC North in the future. So the very near future. And I'm just going to sit around and just let us run all over them every year. That's not how it works. So we have to add talent to make sure that we can stay above. So that's that's the, the challenge to Brad Holmes to finally lock in and get some some help on his defense, to get some help from Aid, for Aiden Hutchinson out there on that D-line. Um, and, you know, we go from there. Good news yesterday is C.J. Gardner-Johnson, on the social media on Instagram uh, posted that he's two to three weeks away from making his return, which is huge, right? We need that. <laughs> we need everybody back that we can. James Houston, uh, you know, with the boot off, nothing around his ankle out there working, getting his ankle strong and get himself prepared to make, you know, his return. Hopefully he can provide that help as far as pass rush for us on the opposite side of uh, Aiden. So, you know, we still are on the up and up. We got out of that game yesterday healthy. That's another big thing to point out. We got out of that game yesterday healthy. We got a short week. We go against Green Bay, you know, Thanksgiving game. So we don't need guys to be down. We need, you know, guys to be coming back. That's big time. So, um, but those are my only concerns of what I saw yesterday. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to sit here and beat up the team and, kill a vibe you know it is victory monday uh we know what we have as a team we know what we need to get better at it's obvious if you're watching this team these things are so obvious um you know so with that said man i hope everyone has a great day uh you know <laughs> green bay all in trouble <laughs> Vikings is uh Mike is lo uh, lost. That was great. They lost to the Broncos. Green Bay shouldn't have won. Chargers catch the damn ball. Um, but yeah, Green Bay, y'all, y'all in trouble. <laughs> y'all about to 
get it, boy. Hey, y'all lost the other day. They lost, uh, you know, Aaron Jones, I think, is down. So that that helps, right? But we're about to give it to him. So y'all get ready to enjoy your food that day. <laughs> you ain't got to, you know, throw up in your mouth that day. It's, it's going to be a, a good one. <laughs> Uh, so with that said, man, you guys enjoy the rest of your day. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.